weight loss. And is deuterium the missing link you haven't heard? So what is deuterium? If you haven't seen my other shows on deuterium, this is an isotope of hydrogen and it is heavy hydrogen because it has a neutron in its nucleus, whereas hydrogen only has a proton, it doesn't have a neutron, making water that has deuterium and higher deuterium levels heavier than regular deuterium depleted water. Now, what is the significance of this and why are we gaining weight if we have a lot of deuterium in our bodies? Well, because it's heavy, it messes up the proton cycling in our ATPase. And this is our nanomotor in our mitochondrial cells, which helps to make energy. So if our mitochondria are not working as, and those ATPase motors are not working as quickly as they should, then we have a slowered metabolic rate. We're not making our energy as actively as we should be. And this is something that can really, you know, be a huge factor in terms of not being able to lose weight or you're gaining weight. Now, it's interesting to note that our body actually makes its own deuterium depleted water and it only is in the presence of natural sunlight and of course, if our mitochondrial cells are working optimally. So one of the ways that you can actually increase your own deuterium depleted water production in your cells and in your body is to increase your healthy fat intake. So whether it's from grass-fed meats and grass-fed sources like ghee, which I love, or of course from healthy fats, you will make more of that deuterium depleted water. And when you are creating more of that DDW, deuterium depleted water in your own cells, this will help to hydrate your body from the inside out. It's interesting to note that our body makes 1.1 kilograms of deuterium depleted metabolic water for every one kilogram of fat consumed. So again, increasing, and this is what our ancestors did, turning that fat that they were ingesting into that metabolic water. But a lot of people these days eat a lot of grains and things, and grains tend to be higher in deuterium, which of course will slow down the nanomotors. And this could be one of those reasons and that missing link that you haven't heard about the correlation between eating a lot of grains and starches, being high in deuterium, and slowing down your metabolism and weight gain. So is it really because of our insulin levels or is it a deuterium level? That's a good question. It's probably a little bit of a combination of both. Now, one way you can think of this is if you look at camels, and of course, camels don't need to drink a lot of water. They make their own deuterium depleted water. And how do they do that? Well, you know, the camel's hump, what is it filled with? It's filled with fat and that's so that they can sustain themselves and be able to get and go through those great distances without drinking a lot of water through the desert because they're making their own water from the fat in their humps and it is deuterium depleted. So today I talked all about weight loss. Is deuterium the missing link that you haven't heard and maybe why you are not losing that weight because you are consuming far too much deuterium. Again, if you missed my show all about deuterium, de deuterium depleted water, please check it out. I hope you've got some questions and comments for me, so please drop it in the comments section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up, especially if you learned something new today. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and click that bell to turn on those post notifications so that you're always aware of my newest and latest uploads. Everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to live your life in tune and in line with nature. Thanks for watching.